a special on television about weather balloons and thought that ours might be one. Huh. Went and got it. Uh, the so label was so well that's, that, that's not the whole thing, that's just the payload part? That's yeah. just the payload. I mean, there was a parachute and there was some strings sticking out of it. But essentially, that's it. Um, just documentation. That was, you know, it was that tied to a book busy. Uh, the next one was a small, shaped like this lunchbox thing. We launched, took about an hour and a half round. Hold down, hold down, push to talk, uh, transmits for here. seven yeah. seconds, and then exactly. it goes off air. Yeah, so it has a few different modes to, depending on altitude. This train go. Pardon me? I don't think I have any functioning. This is two meter, right? Yeah, if yeah. you have a scanner or anything. Actually, I am in Clear Spring, Maryland. It's. Uh, November 13th, 9.33 a.m. We are currently assembling our space blimp. Not everybody's here yet, but we'd probably launch within the next hour. All right, and now hold that there. It's a horrible design. What am I doing? Taking uh, pictures for you? Oh, sweet. What are you saying about our design? Yeah. Uh, that, that antenna is dodgy and full of bullshit. <laughs> You know, <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey. Hi. Uh, oh, no, yeah, that's, and you got to pick the right one to undo, otherwise. They are currently getting the parachute ready. Well, wait, so is it possible I nod it back? Oh, did I, oh, maybe I did it over here. That's all right, we're doing it. There we go. Okay. Just from the other end. All right, now spread this out and make sure it's a little tiny on the top. This parachute was uh, custom designed and the surface area was made so it could give us a controlled descent rate that we wanted for our vehicle as it re-entered the atmosphere. Squeezing the leads on, basically squeezing everything to the We are now preparing the balloon, so we're spreading it out. What's going to happen is we're going to line it out, and we're going to take this and we're going to start filling it. As we start to fill it, it will get very large very quickly. We need people steadying it and keeping track of it. So what is that? Just keeping it off the keeping ground. It off, keeping it off even the and off the ground and uh, not running into anybody. And also not float, flying away either. It'll yes. get impressively large. And yeah. avoid sharp objects? Yes. Uh, you might need to stay a little bit back. Right. <laughs> All right, now come around over here. How many hand people do we have? Four? What? Yeah, we have four hand people. Yeah, we have four. Okay. We have low car. Yeah. Alright, and try and spread it out a little bit if you can. Alright, make sure it doesn't fly off. As it gets bigger, you're gonna move from kneeling to standing, so. Like like Alright, stand up. <laughs> so it oh, yeah. it's oh, okay. transmitting out of Okay, band. well let's like let's go back to the four three two point two. Okay. Okay. Oh that that would explain it, yeah. Gotta yeah. change up the frequency, I Yeah. For for that. Is, this thing's programmed for European use? Okay. Alright, so what are we going? 432.2, oh, no. that's what we were using before. Also, you probably don't need to wear those gloves anymore. And it doesn't matter if it, we're stepping on somebody, we're going to be out of here soon. <laughs> that's the uh, secondary. APRs, secondary right? beacon, yeah. Everybody doing alright over there? Can I get your position? Yep, for now. Alright. Uh, ready? We are at. If you leave it back, it'll go down. I got it, it's about 8 pounds. So right now we're measuring the pull of the balloon to go up. So we know the ascent rate. So wait, what are we what are we shooting for? <laughs> Eleven. Seven. Eleven. We're at eight. All right. Uh, All right, we're at eight pounds, and we want to go to we eleven pounds. So right. we're gonna fill up the balloon even more. So now the balloon is ready, and we're gonna get it rigged up to the parachute. And over here, 
The transmitter, we just got it working. It's transmitting successfully. So now we're getting ready to put everything inside, turn on all the cameras, okay. and then package it up. Oh, don't pull too hard on this. Yeah. Rip the wires right out of the... Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Will it? Yeah. No, this uh, this antenna cable sticks out too far. Uh, this might work. Maybe. Oh, high enough. Yeah, we're we're getting there. We're actually gonna launch a balloon now, guys. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's good. All right. Uh, we are launching probably by 11 o'clock. All right. Can you film this, guys? Here's how this sometimes. is gonna work. <laughs> The string should not be tangled in any way, shape, or form. You are going to let go, and this thing will shoot up. Do not get hit in the face with it. All right? Are we ready? I would hug it and sort of push inward and grab it. Well, if you wait much longer, you're not going to have a choice on our arm going down. Ready? Pushing it up rather than... When I say let go, do it. You don't want it to jerk. Ready? You don't want it to. to ready? Jerk. Everybody ready? Yeah, you don't yes. want it to. Don't, don't one, all release two, it at once. Don't. Okay. I, I wouldn't have it all of oh, us like fine. Not all at once? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Too late. <laughs> okay. Let her go. Right, no, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Nominate one person and just get it out. Yeah, yeah that's really one. good. But you don't want it to go like 10. Yeah. Watch your foot. Go! Nice! <laughs> Launch at 10.58. Thank you. Alright, pack up and go! We're on the road right now. We're chasing down the balloon. The balloon's coordinates have uh, gone a bit whack, but we're following it here on the map. We don't really know where the balloon is right now, but we're heading in the direction according to the simulations. We have our driver here, Rich. Good time. He's also, the, he's also the radio operator. I'm the navigator. Can they get, I mean, originally they put into a simulator to get a projected path. I guess they're going to do that again with whatever new yeah, data actually, they've got. Yeah, actually. And probably track along that for a while. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I'm dry. I can since we've lost track of the GPS, but we still have signal from the spaceship, we've all basically decided to take a break at the predicted landing site according to the simulation and just bring out some uh, directional antennas to see if we can trace the, the signal. We're feeling good and it's about lunchtime anyway, so we're gonna eat. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're honest. not getting this on film, are you? I was totally on film. <laughs> I need to be on the other side of that damn barrier. I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah, this is going to suck. But I need to turn left. So supposedly we got GPS. Uh, oh, wait. We got a GPS signal, so we think we know where it is. And according Stick. to the signal, the the blimp is now falling about 15 miles from our waiting location. So we estimate like 15, 20 minutes it would have landed. So we're rushing to the location now. See if we can get there. Convoy of I think four cars right now. I don't know where everybody else right, went. We got two in our little group. There's uh the two others in front of us. So we're making the assumption that it's gonna fall straight down from 26,000 feet, which probably isn't gonna happen, but it could. There's not a lot of wind. Oh my God, nobody knows how to merge. <laughs> this is uh, theoretically where we're at right now. Uh, I don't know. I don't see much. Oh, there's our, there's our crew. There's some of our crew there. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Alright, so Let's jump out. They got it. Let's go get it. 
So they just picked it up from a field and it appears Farmer Joe is curious. He drove up on his tractor here. It's got a camera, it's got video, it's got... It's recording us right now. Actually, it's way. Oh, no way! Yeah. Yeah. We did this once before and it landed right over by the zoo over there. Okay. And we did this again and it landed here, like a, not a mile and a half away. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right. So, feet! That's not so good. Oh, are you talking about the tiny track? Yeah, yeah. it's hosed. Yeah, the GPS and never this one, got locked. So this one, we were reading this from, you know, the first minute we figured out the other one was hosed. Yeah. And it was giving out bullshit data for oh, the yeah. first for like the whole half hour yeah. until about twenty thousand feet, and we're like, oh my god! So I'm thinking what happened is we spliced in to the TX line from the GPS. Mm -hmm. and I think something about that disrupted the initialization routine that puts the GPS into aviation mode, which allows it to go above yeah, yeah, forty thousand feet. Yeah. Oh, is it forty? I it guess. did cut off at 39. Ah. Yeah. Well, that would explain that. The altitude at 39,000 feet, hmm. and we'll have to interact with this stuff in the box to know the actual altitude. That means that'll be down at the shop, man. Yeah. Or in the car. They've got laptops and stuff in the car. My netbook's already on. And Do you mind us standing My laptop's on. <laughs> yeah, because everybody, everybody wants to know max altitude. My suggestion is, that's my sensor. My suggestion is, oh lord, it's running. Hey, red LED still on. That's nice. Oh, hey, you read document, document. You want to see it in the state it came out in? Yeah, I mean, it came out perfect. Yeah, you take pictures. This is what it looks like it went in. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Okay, what well, you want to show me before you start undoing it? Um, is it still cold in there? Yeah, it's cold. Not too cold. I, don't know it's too cold. Ah. I got it, but I mostly got hands. I don't want to rip wires out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. What does it do? I want to do? see where. The, uh, records? It, yeah, records yeah, measurements speed. of like how high it went. Oh. What, where it was moving, what its coordinates were. What's that? It goes so high that it takes pictures oh, where you can see the curvature so. of the Earth. That's what going. I'm looking for. Yeah. Last time we got about going. a quarter of the curvature. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it's nearly Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that'd be great. I don't care. The yeah, calculator wants to know whether with all this new information you can make it rain next summer. <laughs> <laughs> In short, yes. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. And we we want to pick it. the day yeah. and the amount, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so who suffers who? Uh, Oh, did you have, did we have the public library? So he just took a camera out and he's trying to figure out how to turn it on so he can look at the pictures. Pretty amazing. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the curvature. And then, I mean, this is the middle of the day, but you can still see the sky's black. We've had a uh, successful launch today. We recovered the. Uh, capsule, we opened it up, everything seems to be fine, we believe the GPS just didn't work because it was set for uh, ground mode instead of aviation mode. We recovered photos from two of the cameras, we have issues with one right now, but we should be able to recover it hopefully.